A few days ago, I decided to open up the floor of the chat room uh, for questions that I would then answer. And I did. I, I answered a lot of questions. Unfortunately, I decided to answer them with sarcasm because most of the questions that were asked are asked of me um, pretty much every hour of every day, uh, of every week, of every month, of every year. So I decided to answer them and try to have fun with the answers to the questions that I asked. And some people didn't like it. They thought I was being uh, mean and, and rude. I really don't know how else to answer questions that I get asked all the time. You know, imagine if that were you and, and someone asked you the same questions day in and day out. Again and 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 again <clears throat> oh great I kicked off my screensaver see what you made me do it's a little sarcasm obviously I don't mind answering questions it's just you know I like new questions questions that you know I, I, I haven't answered before for instance uh, what do you guys think about this whole Facebook privacy flap? I mean, some people are uh, dropping off of Facebook because they're tired of having their privacy violated. Are you guys out there quitting Facebook? I'll, I'll ask you, the person watching this video, or, or you if you happen to be in the chat room right now at live.perillo.com. Are you quitting Facebook? Or do you believe that Facebook has already quit you? It's a good question. I mean, you intend on keeping a certain bit of information uh, just visible by a handful of people. Facebook changes its privacy policy and suddenly information that was private is suddenly public. I mean, what do you do? Do you just quit outright? Drop your Facebook account altogether? Or do you do as I've recommended in my two-step program? Uh, if you are concerned about uh, privacy issues with Facebook or really any website there, there's there's two steps to solve this problem step one stop sharing shit you don't want the world to discover and step two repeat step one it's kind of the bottom line if you throw it out there just assume someone's gonna capture it I mean how many hours of television programming do you have to watch to recognize that oh there are cameras everywhere capturing behind the scenes all these hidden moments geeks gone wild uh, world's craziest geek outburst I mean what you do is now public whether you want it to be or not it happens it plays out over and over again and just because you're sitting here in the privacy of your own home doesn't mean that the things that you're sharing online uh, aren't going to be seen by someone who you don't necessarily want to see the things that you're sharing online. It happens. So the bottom line is, if you're concerned, you could stay offline, certainly. Uh, you could quit Facebook. That's an option. Or you could just be... selective on what you choose to share there is such a thing as over sharing I mean do you really think that as you potentially someone who's under the age of 18 is really going to be the same person as as you will be when you age 20 years I am certainly not the same as I was when I was 13 <clears throat> some would say I'm a little less mature than it was back then. But the things that I did when I was 13, oh, wow, I'm glad there wasn't a Facebook. You think it's cool uh, to say something rude and crude and vile and disgusting and, and to uh, uh, slander somebody or to make fun of somebody else and, and to swear and to curse and, and to, to poke fun of, of, of somebody when you are 13 years old. But at age 33, you're a bit wiser. Hey, let's rewind a few years. Let's, let's go to the age of 21 when you 
have possibly graduated from uh, uh, an institution with a, a degree of sorts and you're going to get a job, do you realize that uh, there are firms that get paid big bucks to do their research on you? You may not be anybody that anybody knows. You think that's fine, but you can't escape your past, buddy or budette goes the same for males or females <clears throat> the things that you're sharing online that's trackable forever doesn't matter if it's facebook twitter youtube i mean we all know that 99 percent of the youtube population is completely unemployable and if that doesn't apply to you cool you're in the minority just assume that most of the people who post comments really have never accomplished anything other than being able to post comments on a website and make fun of other people when they themselves have never been able to accomplish much more than getting up out of bed if they've even done that. <clears throat> Either way, the gestures you make online just assume the world's going to see it. So this, I hate to tell you, isn't really Facebook's problem. And I'm not saying they should change their policies midstream they likely will they're you know a private institution they can do it as they see fit it's not a utility you know it's not a you know a, an inalienable right uh, for Facebook to do exactly the way uh, you want things done it's, it, the onus is on Facebook to make changes you can vote with your feet <laughs> that's seriously it's like uh, sticking your thumb in a dike that that not you know a wall holds back water in the crack the that may have dated me I don't know if anybody else is familiar with the story either way the bottom line is you are responsible for you don't push the responsibility of your privacy onto anybody else any institution period End of story. And if you don't like it, go elsewhere. If you don't think that that's a viable option, uh, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Because if you're not responsible for yourself, I don't know how on God's green earth you expect anybody else to be responsible for you. If you're afraid that something you say or do is going to be seen by anybody else, don't do it. It's your problem, not Facebook's. I'd say the same thing about any website. So, I'm still on Facebook. I have no intention on leaving. The things that I share on Facebook are the things that I want to share on Facebook. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I, I, I don't know if I'd go as far as to say every aspect of privacy is dead but at the same time um you just got to assume that you're doing something someone's going to find out they're going to tell somebody else and uh before you know it the the data is out there it happens anyway i mean rumors happen right it just so happens that it may be traced back to you and you could likely lose more than just a job you could lose a career which is much greater than a job of course unless your job is your career in which case wow you got problems but you could lose relationships in general. You could uh, you could lose a lot uh, simply by not realizing the things that you're doing. So, um, bottom line, uh, don't be a jackass, or if you are, at least have you know a full understanding that that's exactly what you're being. <laughs> you don't think <laughs> you don't think people are doing the research on you? Come on, dude. If you expect to get anywhere in this world, behave. <clears throat> Watch yourself and be responsible for your actions. You are in control. And if that control to you is leaving Facebook, okay, more power to you there. You go for it. You leave faith, that'll show them. You're quitting Facebook. Wow. That's great.
I hope to God the sarcasm translates on video. Because <clears throat> I guarantee the Zuckerbergs ain't losing any sleep over you. <clears throat> My email address, chris at perillo.com. Maybe you uh, differ in opinion. That's okay. I, I like this kind of dialogue. Uh, you know, I like these types of questions that people ask. Not the questions I get asked every day. Let him make a video on it, you know? Now I get to go back and see how many people were acting funny here in the chat. But they don't act funny for too long because inevitably the people who misbehave get kicked out of our community. You don't generally put up with that kind of immaturity. Geeks.perillo.com. You can join us there. Embed your own YouTube videos if you want. I will promote them, especially if it's good content. Love that. Uh, Chris.Perillo.com, my blog. You can follow me, Twitter.com slash Chris Perillo, or Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. It's my uh, community over there on Facebook, if you haven't quit yet. I mean, you can't very well participate if you're not, you know, uh, you know a, a Facebook member, really. Even my dad has a Facebook account. He never updates it, and thank God for that, because, geez, I'd almost hate to see what he would be updating with. <clears throat> You know, you can join us in the chat room if it's unmoderated and generally. Is. Sometimes I may be working here, sometimes I may not even be here, but the chat room is always active, assuming that it isn't frozen and then I have to kind of kick it into gear. It's part of a live video feed, which uh, is happening right now. High quality video feed uh, going out over the web. And there are a few drop frames, but actually, in real life, uh, I, I can only move in 24 frames a second. So it works out. I, I really stutter like this in real life. I really freeze and lock up for a second and then move again. Bizarre. Some kind of neurological defect. <clears throat> Phase shifting. It's a whole science thing. Don't want to go into it right now. Either way, you can join us. We are typically talking tech every so often. Uh, we talk about things that most people uh, don't talk about on a daily basis. Uh, those that, you know, the questions that people would ask over and 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 over I can't do it again. I already have a headache. You can join us right here at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.